Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of Shay Nyquist. Okay, so this is the generalized shape of the gas tank. Uh, it's pretty big, but I'll put it up on the bike and I'll show you why it's so big. Uh, part of the reason 
is I'm going to be laying on top of this so there'll be a pad here for me to rest on because I am sitting on my knees and I need to take some of that support off my knees and legs and put my chest on the top of here. So the riding position is going to be laid down so the padding will be on top of here and I'll be able to rest and hopefully ride this thing for long periods of time. Like real long. So I got all the electrical um, for the drivetrain done and the 12 volt system. That's basically all the battery and the motor controls and the 12 volt system. So now uh, I just have to really hook up the charger to the generator, which is going to be uh, creating enough electricity to run the generator to charge the battery. And uh, the whole point of this is to make an electric drivetrain with a, a gas generator charger. So like I said before, it's kind of like the Chevy Volt. Um, it'll always be running electric, but you're going to have a gas generator to create electricity. Yeah, so I'll show you kind of what I got going on right now. Um, you can see I, I got a cycle analyst, and that's going to give me kind of like the wattage, the voltage of everything. Um, I also have a full dashboard here, so um, there'll be some other buttons controlling the secondary pump and the inverter. But for now, we just have the bike on, which turns on 12 volts and the bike turns on. And then I have a, a secondary switch for auxiliary lighting, which will be like nighttime lights. So I'll put a bunch of LEDs at the bottom because um, I might be riding this on the highway and my older brother Ian was kind of expressing safety concerns of being on the highway at night. So I kind of want this thing to look like a UFO all lit up and LEDs don't draw that much. So I think it'll be fine. And for safety reasons, we can really make this thing bright so we don't have any issues with that. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm going to tidy up this wiring a little bit, uh, run it into a harness and then start working on the generator and the gas circuit for the tank. So. Bear with me, we're doing this. So I bought one controller, hooked the whole thing up, and it didn't work. So I got another Amazon controller, and I have to redo all the wiring and the mounts, and hopefully that one works. Okay, 
so I got the bike uh, basically in its running state. It's all electric, no gas. I'm gonna take it for a first test drive to see how many watt hours the vehicle gets uh, per mile. Um, it has kind of a knobby tire on the back right now and some other stuff that's not ideal, but we're gonna get a baseline and then we're gonna try and fix it from there. Hopefully I can get somewhere around 20 or lower and that will give me the optimum range, so. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back from a ride, actually two rides. One ride I went 20 miles per hour for 12 miles, and I got 40 watt hours, so that's about uh, four watts per mile. That's insane. Uh, the other one I went 30 miles per hour, went 13.4 miles. That one I got five watt hours per mile, so that is insane. That's like a third or a quarter of what I was getting on the other bike. So that means that my range has just quadrupled. <laughs> so after doing some math with 30 miles per hour, shows that with this tank of six gallons and the charger setup, I can do 6,000 miles per tank. So yeah, this is definitely a long range vehicle. I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hook up the, the generator and see how many watts I can pump back in consistently through that and then what my wattage is to really calculate how much energy I'm gonna get per gallon. But this is this is insane. I'm super excited about it. I got it on the charger right now. I'm gonna take it out for a couple more test drives just to figure out exactly what the air load is. Um, that back tire is a knobby, so I'm gonna switch that over to a uh, slick and pump up the air pressure and work with some of the padding because right now my helmet's bumping around a lot, making a lot of noise. Uh, but other than that, it is insane. I am super freaking excited. I was a little questionable about if my numbers were correct, but after riding this, seeing how fast it is, and how much it glides through the air, and doesn't slow down when you let off, I'm really excited for this, and this is gonna be like cross country and one gas tank kind of bike. I don't know if I could do that, but you know, we'll see. It might be pretty